sisters of Christ. Y'all, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Y'all, I'm getting ready for work. Um, I want to share with y'all this song that came. You know, God woke with me with songs. And then again, always give me a scripture to go along with it. Um, it's about this woman by this woman named Miranda Curtis or something. And they say, I will press even when I feel a mess. I will press even when I don't feel my best. I'm going to put the song at the bottom, y'all. And they say, I will press. I will press. It's a good song. I heard it one time before. And then I was like, the Lord brought it to me <coughs> this morning. And I was like, okay. And I said, Lord, I need this song because you know what? I will press even when I don't feel my best. I got to keep pressing in the Lord, y'all. And I keep saying that. I always tell y'all that. I say, keep pressing, keep pressing. But the song came to me this morning. And the Lord was just letting me know. He like, through all trials and tribulations that we're going to face and whatever we come through, go through, we got to keep pressing, y'all. Keep pressing. Even when you don't feel your breast, best, keep pressing, keep breath pressing, right? In the Lord. So, this morning he gave me James. So, we're going to read James right here. Because, um, you know, it says trial and tribulations are on the way. And the Lord said everyone will seek his face. Trials and tribulations are on the way. Everyone will seek my face. Because, you know, we're going to be going through the great tribulation and trial trial and error and all this stuff is coming in January 2022 I mean 2022 I'm sorry y'all we sure don't okay we sure don't want to go backwards we're going forward in the name of Jesus because 2020 was something else itself so um this song keep on I will press even when my life's a mess I will press even when your life is a mess, y'all, we got to keep pressing in the Lord because the Lord steady bringing to me, you know, um, as trial, tribulation come, people going to still, you know, people still going to be into the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all fall short to the glory of God. And when he take me back up, when he had told us that time about uh, using this scripture to repent, because um, Satan, he the type of person like... It's going to be people out there that are going to call all joy to hear the word of the Lord, but then Satan going to snatch the word from them, and then they're going to be lost, you know, because uh, we all know we're in a spiritual warfare. So even when your life is in a mess, keep pressing in the Lord, y'all. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter what he throw out, come our way. Keep pressing in the Lord, y'all, because this song is a beautiful song, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the description. And I was like, Lord, I need that boost this morning because... Even when you seem like your life is a mess and things ain't going like you want it to go and trials and tribulation comes and you still keep pressing in the Lord, y'all. Keep pressing. Keep pressing in the Lord. And this song, I will press even when I don't feel my best. I will press. I will press even when my life's a mess. But you just keep pressing, y'all. Because it's and we gotta encourage each other too, y'all. That's one thing with going on now. People don't like to encourage each other, motivate each other, um, just encourage each other. Cause you know sometimes people don't have everybody, don't have people. Not saying people don't have people, but sometimes you don't have people on the same level you on or going where you going, and um, everybody not happy for you. Cause you know people be jealous and envy. So. Whenever you have time, still press. If you can't encourage, if not, you don't have nobody to encourage you, got to encourage yourself, y'all, because I do that a lot. I got to encourage myself, the Lord. He keep on encouraging me to keep pressing and pressing and pressing. So, y'all, um, and then along the way, you encourage somebody else, because just because you don't get encouraged, you still got to do the Lord's works and press and encourage other people. So, we're going to keep pressing, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know I'm still trying to get this mucus out, so y'all got to excuse me. But let's go to 1 James, y'all, because God is good all the time. He always strength. When I don't have no strength, he give me, he give me, his, he give me his strength, y'all. And, and his peace and 
You got to keep pushing. And I love all y'all so much because um, y'all my sisters and brothers of Christ. And I, I, when the Lord do allow me to have my comments in, I love to see the comments of y'all seeing. Because it's encouraging too because, like you said, sometimes people don't have nobody. Like, I don't have nobody on the same level I'm on that I know of yet. But I have play sisters that's um on the walk with the Lord, but they be so busy with work and everything too, you know. So we check up on each other time and time. Oh my cousin, she checked on me yesterday. So, um, you know, I just thank God for for people. Cause even though he said he still give you his, his he still give you his, his sisters and brothers and along the way, Christ. So I'm blessed to have you guys, you know, because uh we never alone because the Lord never leave us or forsake us. But he grant us, you know, it's just a, a beautiful thing how he give us his his on his children as us brothers and sisters and they encourage and push us along the way, y'all. Cause even though at times when you you see me, y'all, hey, y'all know. But um let us know we all not by ourselves. And I'm letting y'all know y'all not by yourself. And I always pray for y'all too. You know, God is good. He awesome God, y'all. And whatever you're going through, no, you're not going through it by yourself. There's somebody always out there praying for you. So, and God is with us at all times, y'all. Because I'm thankful. Thankful at all times, y'all. And I call, I count it all joy. Because this is what the Lord right here giving us, y'all. He said, count it all joy, y'all. So, I want to read y'all James. And um, it says, greetings. We're going to go to James 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produce patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Look at the Lord talking about lacking nothing again, y'all. And patience and faith. And you know, because... At times in your life, like me, I, I'm like, Lord, you know, we all got goals and how we want things to happen in our life. And we have plans and goals and things not going as you want it to go. But it's on God's timing, y'all. I have to understand it. I got to take patience. It's patience. I got to go. So God's speaking this morning, y'all, because <laughs> it's fun to me reading this with y'all. And, and he know what we be, you know. Even though I don't stress it to him because I don't want to be overpowering God all the time asking him about what I want and all this. I just know he know the desires of my heart, y'all. And he know what I want. And I, I just I just want to be able to do his work. And and that way, have it on the be my own boss and do his work. So I can keep the Sabbath, Saturday, the Sabbath, the holy, and all that stuff. Because I know you all got goals and dreams and and all kind of stuff, y'all. So this is for us. We got a faith and patience, y'all. And he said we lack nothing. Thank you, Lord. So let's read this again, y'all. My brethren, call, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the test of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its own perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. Okay, y'all, ask God for wisdom. God grant us wisdom there. Let him, look, ask, if any if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all little, liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, without no doubting, for he who doubts like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind, for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded, unstable in all his ways. <coughs> y'all, see, you got to keep pressing and having, y'all, I didn't even know the Lord was going to give us this right here. You know, and I'm talking about my goals and stuff, and you know how you want to achieve things in life, and even though trials and tribulations and stuff going, keep pressing into the oil, Lord, y'all. We got to have faith. It says, for let, the, for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man. So anytime Satan always trying to throw something in our mindset, y'all, and and we and he trying to say, well, you ain't, this ain't happening. 
this ain't this. Look at the world, what's going on, and this and this and that. And we got to put, put rebuke Satan and let him know, I know who my God is. God is a man of promise. And that's why I keep telling the Lord, I'm like, Lord, I know you promised me this, Lord. I know you're a man of your promises, Lord. And this and then you promised this and this and this. And I have to bring it to, um, just bring it to God's attention. I know your promises that you have for us, Lord. You know, the Lord, and he said we lack nothing, y'all. He been keep on telling us for the last couple of days that his promises and we should lack nothing, y'all. So, and trust and believe that the Lord, you know, and we don't want to be double-minded. Because it's always Satan trying to throw something at us and throw our mindset off. But we're going to keep pressing, y'all. Because that's what that song say. I will press even when my life's a mess. Keep pressing, y'all, in the Lord. Keep pressing and having faith in the Lord. Keep pressing that the Lord going to give us our promises. Keep pressing going forward. Even though it don't seem like you at where you now. But God, it take patience. Right here, God tell us patience, y'all. And that's why I say when God bless us and bless us where we need to be at y'all and don't stay humble and help people along the way, y'all. That's why I'm like, Lord, I wish I could just go out there and do other stuff like volunteer work or give to the community, help somebody. It's just so much we can do, y'all. So much we can do. And um, I just pray the Lord, he'll give me the right people, the right place and the right plan at the right time, y'all. That's for all of us. I pray, God, Lord, please send us the right people, the right place, and the right plan. And it's always on your time, and Lord. He'll give us everything we need, y'all. We have to be patient because it's built us up along the way. It said, count it all trial. That's right here. Right here. Um, we got to count it all joy. And it's for our best. And we're building up more patience and faith in the Lord, y'all. Y'all. So... Sometimes you just got to encourage yourself, y'all. And um, let's keep going, y'all. Let's read this. Read the bottom of this. It said, let the lovely brother glory in his exhortations, but the rich is in his humiliation. Humiliation, I mean. Because as a flower of the field, he, has, he will pass away. Excuse me. For no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat that it wilders the... The, whether the grass is flower falls and the beautiful appearance per perishes so the rich man also will fade away in his pursuit blessed is the man who endures temptation for when he has been approved he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him see Lord still promises <coughs> promises love the crown of life Right here, look, if who endures temptation. Because y'all know the trials, it's going to be tribulation. We're going to go through the great tribulation and trials and stuff going to be coming. But if you're, those who endure at the end, just know you're going to still have the promises of the crown of life. God is good, y'all. <coughs> Which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I'm tempted by God. But God cannot be tempted by evil. Nor does himself tempt anyone, but one, but each one who is tempted, when he is drawn away by his own desires, y'all, by his own desires, y'all. This is why we gotta. This is why I try to stay into the Lord's face, y'all, because we get desires of the world, and that's why I try not. I be like, Lord, you know the desires of my heart, and I just try to live day by day, how God want me just to live day by day, y'all. And just when God ready to bless me and begin with my promises, I trust and believe He gonna give it to me, y'all. Cause we get into the world and search, search for those desires in the world of thing, then we get tempted by Satan. And then that's when you get get in, you know. Look at this. Then we then we desire. Then when the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it's fully when it's full grown, bring forth death. That's why I say seeing this sin to lovers of the world become a lover of the world, y'all. It's hard, but I try to stay grounded in the Lord, y'all. And I try not to be desires and go into desire. That's why I say, y'all, because when when I was into going into the world and doing what what I desire, it's always me getting caught up into something. So I just want to sit back and just trust in the Lord. And when he bring it to me, he going to bring it to me, y'all. Because we get caught into stuff. And then getting into stuff that ain't God ain't even have for us. 
Now that ain't even his goal or his dream, his purpose, desire for our life. So just go with the Lord, y'all. Be patient and go on with the Lord. Because look, it said right here that it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it grow full, when, when it's full grown, brings forth death. And that's what the Lord fight right now again. And that's why people fall in love with into the world because they're getting the desires and they going to what Satan got, going into Egypt and promises and falling short and getting all this and desires. And, and then you be into with the Antichrist and God give us the desires. He got, he got everything that we need, y'all. He give us everything we need. And the thing is, we know once he give it to us, it's going to last long. And we know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be marvelous and great because we know it's going to last long because it's from him. Do not be deceived. Look at this. See? My beloved brethren, for every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And it comes from down from the Father of lights, which whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own he will brought he I mean of, of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be kind of first fruits of his creatures. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteous of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness an implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers, only deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and does not and, and not a doer, he is like a man observing his, nat his natural face in a, in a mirror. For his, he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. See, because when you go out into the world and get the desires of Satan in the world, you forget who God created you to be. And then that's when you won't be a doer of the word, word of the Lord. You'll be doing the door of the world instead of doer of the Lord. Thank you, Dad. Okay, um, what kind of man, what kind of man he was? But he who loved, who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continue in it, and is is not a forgettable hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in all in what he does. If anyone among you think he is re religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceive his own heart, this is one religious. I mean, this is one religion is useless. Pure and un und undefiled religion before God and the Father is is <coughs> excuse me y'all and the Father is this to visit our, to visit our orphan and widows in their trouble and keep oneself unspotted from the world. See y'all. That's why I said the Lord He be just answering y'all. Cause just like my Lord, He know the desires of my heart, y'all, and just not my heart. He know our desires of all our heart. And you know how we want to go out there and help people and do his work and do the word of the Lord and apply it to our life. And But we just got to have patience, y'all, and have faith in the Lord and knowing that he's going to bring all our promises forth. And he said we should lack nothing and call out and count our trials as, as joy. Because things going to be coming our way in 2022, y'all, but we're going to keep pressing in the Lord. Because this song I have. I will press even when my mind's a mess. And I will press even when I'm not in my best. Y'all, I'm going to put that song at the bottom. The Lord gave me that song. And I got to keep pressing, y'all. Y'all see, we got to keep pressing, y'all. God is good all the time, y'all. He said we should lack nothing. We have to have trust and believe in him, y'all. No matter what we go through, even he said, through the trials, even when we go persecution, thank you, Lord. Count us as joy, y'all, because he said we would get we would get the crown of life. So just know he would give us the crown of life, y'all. I had something else, but I guess the Lord gave me that. That was enough. So, y'all, 